Alrighty guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. In the last episode, we got screwed over by the gym leader, and we, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We went into that house there and got the weapon of Giovanni's friend. Uh, in this episode, we're probably gonna go a little bit further on, and uh, probably catch some new Pokemon and stuff, and not take on the gym just yet, because I still need to train up. And, uh, yeah, wow, my Pokemon need to be healed up too while I think of it. So, what I'm gonna do is just probably head to the next route if I can, see if there's any Pokemon worth catching there, Catch them, battle a few trainers if I can, and uh, do some stuff like that because I really need to get prepped for this gym. I think I'll go in when my Pokemon are on like level 28 or 29 just to give me... I'll still be at a disadvantage, obviously, with that level 32 Lapras, but I'll still uh, I'll be able to take on the Vaporeon pretty easily, I think. So let's just heal up there real quick. And what we're going to do is head up past that policeman. Now that we can go by there, and we're actually going to talk to this guy here. So let's see what he says. Aha, there it is. Can I help you, kid? Wait a second, you're in Team Rocket. I caught you. Okay, so it's a good thing I actually healed up my Pokemon, because we have a battle here against this uh, policeman, who's actually dressed up like a Team Rocket member. Okay, so he leads off the Drowsy in level 20. We're going to go for a Seismic Toss, and we got put to sleep, which is great, and we're still asleep. And now we're hurt in confusion, and uh, great. That went very successfully. So we're going to go to uh, Meow Wow, just go for the Bite, and take it out in one hit. And a Farfetch, which will get taken out by two bites because Meow Wow is like super powerful. So there we go. That was pretty, uh, pretty bad from Salamandra, honestly. That pretty much sucked. So we get Team 28, which contains Dig, and we actually stole it off him, and he just runs away. He's a policeman, he can arrest me. His friend is right around the corner, or his, uh, yeah, his, like, his fellow policeman is around the corner. They could have just arrested me easily, but whatever. So let's just heal up again for the second time. And now we are going to head down uh, that way where this guy is. So, let's go around here and see what is over this way. And hopefully this doesn't lead me back to the volcano. It can't really, because there's no other way to go apart from this way. So, yeah, we're going to go down this way and see. Alright, so there's the volcano. We can't go in there. But we're actually getting led into a different cave. Alright, sweet. So, uh, what is this cave? Let me just check it out on the town map. This is Mount Iyer. So, let's just see what is in Mount Iyer. We could get some cool wild Pokemon. And let's see what we got. We have a Zubat. Great, alright. Never seen one of those in a cave before. So, let's take it out with two embers. And uh, just continue on our merry way through Mount Iyer. Alright, that's a pretty cool name, Mount Iyer. Anyway, let's see what we got here. And it's another Zubat. Oh my god, i never seen one of those before in my life. Even though I just battled one like a second ago. So, that sort of contradicts what I just said. Uh, yeah. Never mind what I just said about never seeing it's Zubat. Um, okay, looks like we are out of the cave. And in a very Lavender Town style place. What do we have in this house first, I guess? So this is obviously like Mr. Fuji's house or something. Mr. Bank went to the Pokemon Cemetery to pray. Alright, so his name is Mr. Bank here. Pokemon Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. The application form is gone. It's been clipped out. Okay, uh, whatever. Do you know my daddy? For some reason, people call him Mr. Bank. I love my daddy a lot. Alright, uh... That's an Alakazam, but that did not make an Alakazam try. That sounded like a slow bro to me. Uh... Grr, Sandslash. Sandslash is mad, so we better leave. Better to leave, it's a uh, merry house. So, what's this guy here say? This used to be a good town before they made it a graveyard. Now no one wants to visit. I came to visit. That means something, I guess. This is the name Raider's house. We're leaving. I already know by the guy's uh, design and the music. And what's this person say? Did you visit the Pokemon Cemetery? Not yet. Uh, they say spirits haunt the place. I'm too scared to see for myself. Okay, uh, there's the Pokemart, and this guy says, This town is known as the gravesite of Pokemon. Memorial services are, head are held in the Pokemon Cemetery. Okay, let's just uh, head down here and see what's going on. And, uh, oh sweet, we got a patch of grass, so let's see what Pokemon we can find in here. It's Ditto! Alright, so, uh, yeah, Ditto, not- Whoa, 27, are you serious? That's not bad, <laughs> I'm gonna run away from this thing, but uh, I think I may be catching a Pokemon in here. I better go to the Mart, actually, because all I have is Pokeballs. And Pokeballs aren't good for catching Pokemon on level uh, 27. We're gonna need Great Balls if we can get them, so let's hopefully be able to get Great Balls here. And we can, good. So what I'm gonna do is sell some of the Pokeballs I have, because I have 17, I don't need 17. We're gonna sell about uh, 7 of those, I think and get 700 back and then be able to buy like 10 great balls out of that money so oh we can get super potions here too so uh yeah let's get eight great balls and we'll get like two uh we can only get one super potion 
crap. Alright, so there we go. Get one super potion, which will help us the whole way through the game. And I probably should have spoken to those guys back there. So, you know with the hack, you can never really take chances with uh, talking to Pokemon. We're talking to people because they could somehow just randomly be people who give you something. So, that guy didn't give me anything. He just talked about the X specials and stuff. And that guy just says about revives, so that's not really important. Alright, so let's head back down to that route and see if we can find anything else. I'd reach like a, like a grass type or a water type or something, just to get some uh, diversity in the team. So let's see what Pokemon we can find, if one will appear. Please? Hello? Pokemon? Where are you? Anywhere? No? Really? When I'm looking for Pokemon, you're never there. There we go. Alright, so let's see what we have here. A Psyduck. Very nice, actually. That's a pretty decent water type Pokemon. I'm considering getting this thing, but I'm going to just uh, scout the rest of the field and see what else is here. And if we can find a better water type, that would be awesome. So, what do we have here? We have... Oh, yeah. We got a Dratini. So, what we're going to do is try and catch this thing, definitely. Because this thing is definitely worth catching. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, uh, use Leer, which is fine. This thing will probably only know uh, Thunder Wave, Leer, and Rap, I think, at this point in the game. So... While not bad, it's uh, not great either, and while I got a critical hit, that sucks. Um, I need to do some leveling up too while I'm at it. This, I'm in a bad, like, sort of place for levels, considering the gym leader's on level 32, or at least her Lapras is on level 32, or Vaporeon is only on 24, and this routine needs to stop rapping me. There we go, we're at low enough HP, where I hope a Great Ball will catch. Dragon types are hard to catch, so uh, I don't know if this Great Ball will get it. Hopefully it will. No, that, not a chance, really, I don't think. I don't think I can, actually, maybe if I use Ember, I hope this doesn't take it out, I swear, if this takes it out, I'm gonna be mad. <sighs> of course. But at least we got to 24, so we can, the sunny side of that, the upside of it is we got to 24, and we're trying to learn Rage, which sucks, but we're not gonna teach it, so, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have killed that with Ember, honestly, but, you know, uh, I didn't think a Great Ball would catch it, so let's see if we can find anything else, I'm definitely considering coming back here and trying to find a Dratini again. And wow, we found another one straight away, that is pretty sweet. So this one's on level 25 as well, and we're just gonna scratch it, and scratch it, and we're dead. Um, yeah, wow, I don't even think you can touch this thing, which, actually, we can go for Water Gun, that's fine. And that outspeeds me too, that sucks. Even, considering Meow Wow is like really fast, that sucks. So there we go, that's that low enough HP, come on, Great Ball. Great Ball, do your thing, catch this Dratini for me. We got one, no, alright, okay. Uh, try again, nope, <laughs> not working out. Great, uh... I definitely need something to paralyze. I got it! Sweet! Alright! Never mind. <laughs> I needed something to, like, uh, get it, like, paralyzed or something, but I was able to catch it with a great ball. So there we go. We now have Dratini, which I'm gonna give the nickname Aragon to. So there we go. Aragon is now part of the team. I need to go heal up. And, uh, yeah, heal up, as I just said. So let's do that. And, uh, talk to Nurse Joy. There we go. And now we're gonna check out this new Dratini that we have. So, let's check it out. We have Aragon, the Dratini. Has very good attack stat, very good speed and stuff. And it has the moves of Rap, Leer, Thunder Wave, and Agility. Very nice moves. But look at how much experience that takes to level up. That's going to be torture. But at least if I go to the gym, or when I level up a little bit more, when I go to the gym, I can use uh, Thunder Wave. And then I can just Rap the Lapras for as long as I want. And hopefully take it out eventually. Because this thing does have Leer too. Or, or I could use Leer. Actually, I got rid of Leer. No, I have Leer on my... Uh, Charmeleon, I think, so I can use that to weaken down, uh, the Lapras, and while well, we got a Poliwag as well, I think I may catch this thing too. I prefer Poliwag over Psyduck, so yeah, I think I'm gonna catch this thing. We'll go for a, uh, Seismic Toss, just to do a guaranteed 24 HP, and I can catch this thing and start leveling it up too. So, that did about half, and Water Gun hopefully won't do too much. Uh, yeah, 20 HP isn't bad, let's go for an Ember and see how much that'll do. Obviously not a lot, it's not very effective, and that is perfect. So, we can take, uh, five water, not five water guns, oh wow, that did more. That got, uh, a little bit more powerful. But, uh, I think, yeah, there we go, that's had enough HP, where I think I'm gonna die to water gun here, we'll see. Alright, so cool, we survived like, five HP, let's go for a, uh, Pokeball. Will the Pokeball catch a Poliwag? I don't think so. Uh, we got one, we got two, we got three, so, alright, we did get Poliwag. Which is awesome, so we have the Tadpole Pokemon, and now we are going to give this thing a nickname. I think I'm going to call this thing, uh, let's go with Ollie. Ollie the Poliwag. So there we go, Ollie has been caught, and now we're going to heal up again. And I think we are pretty much uh, stocked with the team so far. 
Just, uh, need a grass type and probably electric type for my liking, but we don't have to have one of those. I guess we can miss out on them. So, yeah, dragon normal, uh, fire and water types. Not too bad. So let's just check out this new polywag. It's on level 23, so I'm gonna have to use it in battle. And it has the moves, bubble hypnosis and water gun, which is not bad. So, uh, I'm actually gonna use the rare candy I have on this thing. Actually, no, I'm not. We're gonna, uh, switch Ollie to the front and switch Meow out to the back. And what we're gonna do is see what is happening on this other route over here. It looks like we got some trainer battles and we got wild grass. So hopefully there's different Pokemon here. Let's see if we can find anything. We'll take on this trainer. And we got into a wild battle just as we go to take her on. Wow. Spearow. Alright, that kind of sucks. So let's run away from that. And see what Pokemon this trainer here has. Grass types. Fantastic. So I gotta switch out straight away. Uh, she has a Gloom, which we're gonna switch into Salamander for and get put to sleep, of course. Hopefully we'll wake up soon. Salamandra, come on. There we go. Uh, let's go for an Ember. That's a 3 hit KO. At most, there we go. Uh, next Pokemon is Execute, so this is gonna take a lot. Why do I get. Uh, stop putting me to sleep! That sucks, there we go. Uh, oh wow, thank god that missed. There we go. Down goes that Execute after a struggle <laughs> of unnecessary struggles. And we are gonna take on this guy next. So he won my Pokemon, he won his Pokemon in the casino, and he's a Venomoth. Wow, okay, let's go for Hypnosis. And we did affect it, and there we go, now he's asleep, we can switch out to Salamandra, and start embering this thing, because it is a bug and poison type, and that is super effective, so there we go, take out that thing, and, uh, next Pokemon is gonna be a Grimer, which I'm gonna go to Ollie for again, we're gonna go for Hypnosis and Miss, and we're gonna go for Hypnosis and Miss, and we're gonna go for Hypnosis and Miss, and there we go, and it woke up on the first turn, there we go. <sighs> Alright, uh, this is taking a while, and there we go, so it's dead, good work Ollie, uh, Gotta get more accurate with that hypnosis though, really, you do, because that was pretty terrible. Alright, I think I should probably heal up, because I don't really want Ollie to get taken out, I'd like to get it to get, I'd like to get it to get, to get, to get, to get, to get, I'd like it to get as much experience as possible, that would be a horrible stutter to have if I kept saying to get, to get, to get, to get, to get, even though I did that already. So, let's heal up, and I actually need to talk to these people, just in case something hidden is in here, so, Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of gold, that's true. Uh, you're in Team Rocket? Did you kill Cubone's mother? No. It wasn't me specifically. I saw Cubone's mother die trying to escape from Team Rocket. Wow, that's actually pretty horrific. I wouldn't really wish that on anybody to see someone die. That'd be pretty bad. Alright, so let's head over to this route again and see what is happening. Uh, I'll definitely look in the grass to see if there's anything worthwhile catching, but... We'll just leave it for now and try and make our way through this route and see where it leads. And, uh, yeah, let's take on this guy in the process. So, do you like this my secret path? Alright, so this guy has a Nidorino. We're gonna go for a water gun. I'm not gonna bother going for, uh, Hypnosis. There we go, take that out. Level 24 for Ollie. Muck is next. So we're gonna go to Meow Wow, go for the bite. Actually, we're gonna payday a little bit and get some money out of this. And we got Poisoned, fantastic. Our next Pokemon is gonna be Hypno. No need to switch out even though I'm poisoned, and Bite will take this thing out eventually. And there we go. Great stuff, Meow Wow. Almost got taken out in the process, but you still lived. And we took on that super nerd who had really powerful Pokemon, by the way. God, this game is, like, incredibly difficult. So we have loads of antidotes, that's perfectly fine. We can heal up with that. And I'm gonna use some of these potions I have. I don't think I have a lot, I have four. And that'll be enough just to get Meow Wow to uh, near enough full HP. Or actually, yeah, just 2 HP off. So, heal him up like that. And we'll also heal up Ollie with this. So, there we go. Uh, I only have a super potion left. I only have one of those. Even though I got a lot of money back there for using uh, Payday. So, don't hurt my Nidorins. They're mine. Uh, Nidorins? What's a Nidorins? So, she has a Nidorino. Okay, uh, let's go for a Hypnosis and put it to sleep on the first turn. Great. So, now we can uh, Water Gun this thing. And, uh, there we go. So, way to go, Ollie. Next Pokemon is Anita Arena, obviously, if she said not Anita Renz. We're gonna go to Aragon, give him his first battle. We're gonna go for a Thunder Wave. And now we will, uh, wrap this thing for as long as we possibly can. Because it is the cheap victory, and if the game does it, I'm allowed to do it. So, there we go. Wrap for victory. And Aragon did pretty well. I'm actually gonna switch Aragon to the front to see if I can do that to any other Pokemon. So let's just switch around, and because uh, Ollie is pretty hurt up, or pretty beat up from the last battle, so let's take on this trainer and see what Pokemon he has. Hopefully, nothing too tough. And this guy is a uh, super nerd who has a Kangaskhan. A Kangaskhan on level 30. 
all right game you're kind of testing my patience here but comet punch is not going to take me out hopefully it'll only hit twice and great it hit three times and that's going to take me out it hit four times really really game i mean come on all right let's go to ollie i guess because ollie has like low hp we'll see if we can get this thing to sleep and we don't even outspeed and ollie's going to take a comet punch right to the belly and it's not going to take it very well and it looks like I'm going to lose this battle because if it keeps using Comet Punch, it's going to like destroy all my Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go for a Seismic Toss to get the guaranteed damage. And, uh, great, that's a lot of damage. And, wow, Kangaskhan has a lot of HP. So, let's go for Bite and, uh, just hope for crits. No, we lost. Great. That's the second time I've blacked out already. So, um, I think I am going to take this opportunity to end it here and start off screen training so with all that said and done i'd like to thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it in the next episode we're going to probably head back to the gym and then we're going to take on that guy for our rematch with this kangaskhan i'll probably train all my pokemon up to level uh, 29 or something if i can so i will see you guys for more shortly enough catch you then